Now, Elon Musk's Twitter takeover has met with a mixed reaction from the general public. People in Washington, D.C. voiced their concerns over the spread of fake news and also hate speech, while others fear that the world's richest man could now control content for his own purposes. Listen in. There's not several owners anymore, so that kind of gives him all the power over it. And I guess my thoughts are that things will probably get worse on Twitter if he's trying to open up freedom of speech just because that allows room for fake news to spread, hate speech, stuff like that to happen, maybe um, harassment, more harassment. So I don't think it could, it, I guess good things could come out of it, but I see the result being more negative than positive. The, the incidents uh, with uh, President Trump, I think, showed that um, these platforms have much, much influence on our public debate. So I think it's um, not so good if this is in hand of one um, human being. And I think um, Mr. Musk is also um, one uh, human being who is um, driven by, of course, um, his financial interests and not driven um, by the public interest. So I think um, it's good that we have such platforms um, in which you can speak freely, but in democratic societies freedom has bounds, has boundaries, and um, I'm not sure if Elon Musk is the one who should the one who should define these boundaries for such a huge platform like Twitter. We have a mental health crisis in our country, and for the sake of our mental health, I think some people should not be allowed on Twitter because of the their use of language. You know, and no, I don't think Donald Trump should be allowed back on Twitter. <laughs> Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.